In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate yet equally unimportant groups. The police who are absolutely useless and the district attorney who runs around in his pajamas. These are their stories. The letters in Dick Purcell should have rearranged for the DA like Navkid Keed. We photographed this woman before and after telling her she was Gail Richards. You'd think they'd figure out Maldor is the scarab based on how high he's billed in the credits. Mayor Randolph doing his best George Burns impression. Just gonna say it, Gruber hasn't done nearly enough henchmanning to warrant sharing a bill with Matson. Hugh Southern, the sworn enemy of small northern. Edward Keene, which family circus kid is that? RCA, which does not stand for Real Captain America. Directed by John Elmer and English Clifton. Chapter 4, Preview of Murder, which always gives away the best scenes of murder. Oh, this time the description tries to pretend Cap did something right. Electronic Firebolt is not a good electronic commando name. Captain America, completely missing the henchman, but still taking him down. If Matson sees his shadow, it's six more weeks of cereals. Out of the way, I want to jump into a pillow fort. It's probably too late to suggest this, but shouldn't the Platinum Refinery Vault have, like, guards or security cameras or something? And now to work on their somersault act. Perfect, they'll be ready for the middle school talent show in no time. The bags of flour are not still standing. Oh, come on, you just wrecked Oscar the Grouch's vacation home. They refuse to leave even a single barrel upright. Hey, you okay, buddy? Well, then my work's not done. They look like two kids racing to the TV room to choose the Nintendo game. It's the whole cut through the interrogation room while in Rise of the Resistance. I refuse to believe these filmmakers were clever enough to put the no-smoking sign as an ironic setup for the fire. Guns don't kill people. Wrestling over guns kills people. Hmm, if only there was a type of fighting that involved the word box. Goldfinger is much slower than I remember. Much like Reed Richards, the bad guy's powers are just science. Oh great, now when they reopen Phantasmic, it won't have this box. Okay, last time we had the barn, and this time we have the burner. Picking up a guy who's down just to punch him again. Captain America! Okay, our oldest kid is this tall, and our youngest is this tall. Wait, a cliffhanger resolution that actually required effort on Cap's part? That's it, this year he has jumped the shark. And the day is saved thanks to Guns, directed by Charlton Heston. Aw, they didn't get to drink from the fire hose. Able to climb tall staircases in several steps. So Cap's just gonna let the other henchmen burn to death, huh? Huh, fortunately his bullets can't reach my other car. Now I'm glad we didn't carpool. And here we get a rare sight of the star-chested DA activating his full camouflage, ensuring he won't be able to be detected by even the most interested viewer. Later at the Little Drummond Boy Museum, Parumpa pum pum He was just about to get away with the platform when Captain America showed up. And his clumsiness was just too sad to watch, so we left. Yes, and a robot control truck, too. Losing the firebolt is not serious. Then why did we spend two full episodes we worrying about the firebolt? Locator, it would have been dangerous to use it again. But we must recover that truck at any cost. It would take months to duplicate its robot control and television unit. Oh, for God's sake, can't you go five minutes what without pulling a new piece of technology out of your ass? Turn on the television controls. 
I'm afraid we've lost control of the horizontal and the vertical. Oh, great. Now they're going to riff the film for me. Those policemen would follow if we took it now. We must wait until they are removed. Surgically, grab the giant Operation Tweezers. Stay here and keep your eye on it day and night. We have hundreds of henchmen. Why do I need to stay here day and night? Fellow museum, Dr. Maldor speaking. This is Grant Gardner, Doctor. Do you have any extra Sorry, pocket Charlie, handkerchiefs for me? Has just come up. I just received a phone call from the attorney of the late Professor Lyman. You're still on Lyman? That was three whole episodes ago. Since you and Professor Dodge are beneficiaries, he wants you both to be there. His final wish was that we all touch our phones. 10 o'clock in the morning at the Lyman residence. Uh, goodbye, I guess? Later at the groundskeeper's house in a public park. Oh, there's the Stan Lee cameo. My estate to be dispersed as follows. Professor Dodd. My lifelong friend, I have bequeathed my home and all its contents. Especially all my bonus vibrators. Have fun. For his loyalty and untiring efforts in the cause of science, I give all my rights and interests in the Drummond Museum, with the exception of the Mayan crown jewels now in his custody. Ooh, Lionel is giving a much more subtle reaction than the material deserves. Sold to finance an expedition into the Mayan jungle, the search for the lost city of Zardoz. The lost city of Zardoz? No wonder Cap thinks the gun is good. Now that you've inherited this estate, Professor, do you propose to live here? I hope so. If you think it's safe, I'll make it safe. I'll keep police guards around here as long as there's any sign of danger from the scarab. Yeah, they did such a great job protecting Dodge last time. Are you making in the scarab case? Not much. Captain America has turned a truck over to us that may hold a clue. It's a Parker Brothers delivery truck, so it may also hold a monopoly. Give me a report on it by the time I get there. Now, if you'll excuse me. I need to go add eight more handkerchiefs to my pocket. I must be getting back to the museum. I'll deliver the Mayan jewels to you tomorrow. Very well, I'd expect you. I expect you to disappoint me, as usual. Help, I'm being crushed by a scene transition. I wasn't filling in your crossword puzzle. What happened? Oh, they treated me as they always have. Fall too clothed for my taste. Will be his interest in the museum, which I already control. Oh, you're never satisfied. If you have any real value, the Mayan jewels must be handed over to Professor Dodge tomorrow. Of course, you intend to give them to him. Wink, oh, wink, nudge, nudge. That is, if Professor Dodge is still alive. He's doing science, and he's still, he's still alive. Oh, he's at the Lyman House with a strong police guard. It would be easy if he only had a robot-controlled truck. Or a robot that turns into a truck and sounds like Peter Cullen. Come in quick. They're checking the truck. It didn't fit in the carry-on compartment. What do you make of it? Well, I can make a tiny home out of its trailer. Well, there are some details that I can't figure out, but it's robot-controlled. Robot-controlled truck. Uh, Was it named by Dr. Zoidberg? It's like the automatic pilots used in planes. This is my favorite scene from Spaceballs. How is it steered through traffic? I can't tell exactly. Where is this truck's external camera? If the TV unit's in the roof, why are the cameras on the outside? If it's robot controlled, why haven't they driven it away from here? Two motorcycle officers would have followed it. I'll fix that. Then they can take it whenever they want. And when they do, I'll be inside. So his plan is to wait however long it takes for the scarab to retrieve the truck. Did he factor in bathroom breaks into this plan? So, Bill, now that we got the afternoon off... For the last time, Hank, I'm not going bowling with you. I'm gonna stand by the office just in case I need you. Oh, yeah, I'll be sure to be on full alert. I we're won't fall asleep watching Bridgerton. Be ready to take control of the truck. This film was Elon Musk's biggest inspiration. Look, take it away. Okay, I can buy the remote control, but multiple exterior camera angles? Did they design this for James Burroughs? Radar Secret Service is on the case again. Take it to the 10th Street Garage. This is the worst Grand Theft Auto game ever. Wait, a sign with a different font? Now I'm completely lost. H1 calling B10. H1 calling B10. Are you H1 or HI? Make up your mind. B10, come in. A robot truck is on the way to you. That's right, I say robot. All those robot people get on my nerves. Get set for the district attorney, too. He's in the middle compartment. The scarab wants him alive. Alive, get it? I don't know. Get it makes it sound like you're being sarcastic. Should we kill him? It 
the self-driving car doesn't sound like Mr. Feeney, then who cares? Why does the truck have the Toronto Raptors logo on it? Come on, Mr. DA. Well, that's Mr. 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 DA to you. Say, a reception committee, huh? We're just the doorman. The committee will take care of you later. But first, we'll drop your bags off with the bellboy and then have your questions answered at the concierge. We have a very rigid infrastructure. Everybody has to follow their specific roles. B-10, calling H-1. You sang my battleship. Go ahead, B-10. Everything's okay. That's my favorite Al Green song. Yes, I know. We're watching you. You don't have to you call me every five seconds, Fred. We're going to crash it into Lyman's house and finish off Professor Dodge. What'll I do with the D.A.? Frank Gorshin? Wait, no, that would make this a fun superhero series. Right. Put enough explosives in to blow Dodge and the house clear off the map. Wait, why is Dodge on the map in the first place? They start carrying five boxes of explosives under each arm like a youth group kid putting away chairs. They just left him where he could cut the rope? Fortunately for our hero, the bad guys were slightly more incompetent than him this time. Now it's a traveling bomb. Traveling Open bomb. Traveling bomb. Start it up. Stave it off. Professor Dodge is going to have an unexpected visit. Thorin Oakenshield. So now the exterior camera from the roof of the truck is locked down in the garage and panning. Wow, and he didn't even need to use the boot on the unrelated cat first. Close the garage before that supercharged tram gets here. Our hero, a low-rent Kevin McAllister. Okay, he knocked one henchman's aim into the other. Does this add to Cap's kill count or no? <sighs> I miss when the serial was about vibrators. Low-hanging fruit sex jokes were way more fun than the same fight scene over and over in slightly different locations. We love these barrels so much at the Platinum Refinery Vault, didn't we? I hope we see more barrels all the time now. The wrench didn't work. Maybe try the lead pipe or the candlestick? Population tar! Tractors and tires. What'll be our next DCA icon? Every room in this town is filled with balsa wood chairs. Let's borrow some tools from Story Without End. Come on, I'm just trying to brand you like the cattle in How to Use Classroom Films. We keep seeing weapons almost used and then decommissioned by punches. It's a real John Henry story. And another guy who basically shoots himself while wrestling with Cap. They didn't have 15 episodes worth of ideas, did they? Finally, a motorcycle! The opening credits prophecy has come true. Mm, I know they're gonna kill Dodge, but eh, I got time to change. Everyone gather around the Interocitor. In the extended edition, there's even more of these three watching a screen. Cap, you're not supposed to drive on the line. How much desert is between any two buildings in this city anyway? Good thing he put on his peripheral vision limiting hood before hitting the road. Heat Vision and Jack's even sillier than I remember. I'll get back to following that truck in a moment, but first I'm pretty sure there's a Dutch Brothers off this exit. Hey, stay in your lane! Did the filmmakers come up with the robot-controlled gimmick to justify the terrible driving? Crap, I knew I should have gone before I left. I'm king of the hill. A man's gotta do. Give me that wheel. Fine, take the wheel. I'll just buy a vowel. It's not robot controlled. Claude Rains is behind the wheel. He's gotta get the Ark of the Covenant out of this truck. Maldor is a serious cruising USA player. A DA on the roof. Sounds crazy, no? The cheat runs by with fake trees. Hey, climbing in an explosives truck, just like Superman in Destruction, Inc., but way more boring. Where the hell's the hazards button? 
I've moved past how. Why is the camera angle behind the truck? Wouldn't the truck's POV be easier on the remote driver? Da -da 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 -da. Okay, now the truck's self-filming is worse than it's driving. Whose woods are these? I think I know. I'm sorry, Cap. I'm afraid I can't do that. I did that to my car radio the year every station wouldn't stop playing Bad Day. Gasp! A cliffhanger! Well, I'm sure he didn't just jump out before this shot, so he must really be dead now. We are the Blades of Wrath. We never take a bath. Hey, Cap finally rode that motorcycle. We got to see him ride in the credits all those times. I wonder if that means in the next episode we'll finally see everyone do those sitcom opening poses they've been doing in the credits. Now, I'm no Captain America. I'm just one man who can't do this alone. But I can do it with the help of my patrons, who not only provide financially, but also join me in Patreon live streams to help me notice joke opportunities I might have missed otherwise. If you would like to join the next Patreon live stream, even a $1 pledge gets you access. And at $2, you can see the rest of this month's videos, including our next riff, where I may be joined by a certain frenemy to talk about some certain experiments. Now, if you'll excuse me, uh, since I've had some bad experience over the past couple of years with driving, I'm going to try to learn how to drive by remote control like the Scarab was doing. So until next time, this is Dave, signing off.